My ex-husband just texted me to tell me that he got engaged. What? Yeah. Sean Lee just got engaged. What? I know. I didn't think Sean was leaving his house. Well, no, he's had a girlfriend for years now. It's, it's, are you kidding? It's more like what the heck took them so long. Well, I know, but I didn't think he was actually leaving his house to go see her. I thought he was just cooped up in his house. How, how could this happen? Well, he has been cooped up in his house, but there have been a couple of weekends that he has gone to see her, and I guess this was one of the weekends? I don't know. Did he ask her, or did she ask him? I don't know. Here's what he texted me. He texted me a picture of him holding her hand, kissing it. She has a ring that is not the ring that he used to propose to me, which is what we have to get into. Uh huh. And the do- their dog is in the back seat. So this whole thing took place in a car. Okay. Or, or the picture is in a car. Or, or I, don't, I don't know where they got engaged. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> All I know is that when I embiggened it, it was not the ring he used to propose to me. So that was my first question. Mm-hmm. Did you use... Okay, wait. Let me just so you understand the ring. The ring he used to propose to me was a ring that has been in his family since the 1890s. It was like his great, 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 you know, grandmother, whatever, mm-hmm. who brought the ring, like snuck it into Switzerland, then through France, and then ended up in America. And that ring has been in their family ever since. So it's it's a family heirloom. Okay. Okay. And it's beautiful. It's got a sapphire in the middle and then diamonds around it. It's small, but it's gorgeous. And it has that antique feel. It was just, it was incredible. I loved it. And you gave like it, it back to him. So when we got divorced, he said, I'd really like to have that ring back. Mm-hmm. And I thought, you know what? It's not like he bought me this ring and it's my ring or this is his family heirloom. Of course, I'm going to give it back. There was no, qu- my friends were like, what are you crazy? You should keep it. No, that's, that's kind of a dick move. Like there's no way I'm keeping an engagement ring. That was, that's his family heirloom. That's stealing at that point. Yeah, that was disgusting. So then mm. I was like, I was going to give it back either way. Like even if he didn't ask, I was absolutely going to give it back to him. You know, also, we're very good friends, so it would be weird if I still had that ring and we're friends. You know, Mm -hmm. it doesn't make any sense. So I was always wondering if when he got engaged, he was going to propose with that family heirloom ring that he had given me. Yeah, I don't think she would even take it. Really? How come? You don't want some other girl's ring. It doesn't matter if it's a it's an heirloom. You don't want to. That's bad mojo. That's no, mo. It that's, that's bad mojo from the first marriage that broke up. So no, I don't, that's believe, not, I don't believe in mojo. I don't believe in that. Well, I think, he I think does. It, it's a family she heirloom. Does. Well, it's a family heirloom. It's a really special ring. Mm-hmm. You know, it's funny because I, I so I asked him, "Did you use that ring to propose?" And then I am big in the picture so I can see what she's wearing, and she's wearing this big diamond that I didn't recognize it was not it was definitely not anything that i ever saw and i know that he's you know he's one of the people he's working right now but he's not making tons of money because like everyone else you know he's had to cut his his Mm. company has cut his hours he didn't have to cut his hours his company did so um you know look i don't know how much money he has or doesn't have it's none of my business anymore Uh but i did ask you know did you use the ring that you used proposed to me and he said no it was her mother's ring i guess her mom died and this was her mother's engagement ring. Oh, okay. Because Sean is one of those guys that he's not going to ask her to get married. She's just going to say, we're getting married on this day. And Sean would say, okay. Um, and then she, <laughs> That's true. <laughs> she's the kind, and he's the kind of uh, man who she would go out and buy the ring and say, and by the way, this is the ring you bought me. Uh, okay. Right. And, you know, as as long as you don't yell at me like my last wife, fine, we, whatever. You're not Cooper, right? No. Okay, right, right. good. That's all I need to know. Right. So I thought it was interesting that it was her mother's ring. So did she hand him the ring and mm-hmm. say, when you propose, this is what you'll use? Did she propose to him and say, here's the ring or... Or, you know, or did he always know that was the ring and then got it from her family and surprised her? You know, I've, I don't know what the story is yet. I have no idea. But I said to him, I think it would have been fine for him to use the family heirloom ring that he gave me mm-hmm. because it's about his family. It's his family heirloom. So if you're joining the family, it would make sense that she would have it on her finger. I know, right? but you wore it. So I, I don't agree with that. 
But that doesn't make any sense because a lot of women have worn it before me. You know, his grandmother wore it, his great grandmother wore it. But he Lots wasn't married to those. Ring. He wasn't married to his grandmother. That had good mojo on it. You gave it bad mojo. So I, I don't. I'm not going to give it to somebody else. Plus, there's no I, I, mojo. Oh, there's a. Oh, you know, trust me. There's mojo, and <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think she would. You want an ex ex's ring? Would you? You wouldn't wear it. Of course I would. No, you, you would not. If it's a ring, what? Who, I'm not. Who am I to say no to a ring? No, you are going to have a name for the ring. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and it's going to be blank blank's ring you, <laughs> that you can shove up your blank. Oh, uh, the stupid bitch ring. I'll, be, I'll wear the stupid bitch ring. I'm, I'm okay with that. See, that's why. That's why you can't. <laughs> You can't do it, and you wouldn't do it because every time you look down, you would think, "Stupid bitch." There you go. <laughs> no, but okay. If it's a family heirloom, I think that's very different than if it's a ring that Joe bought for his ex. If he if he and his ex together bought a ring, or if he bought a ring for her, no, I don't want that ring. Mm -hmm. But if it's a family heirloom that has sentimental value to the family that's been in his family for generations and generations. Yeah, of no, course I want that ring. Don't believe that at all, because if you left it on your nightstand, you would say, hey, Joe, go get the... Stupid bitch ring. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't it's... mean I wouldn't like it just because I gave it a crappy name. <laughs> but you would bring it up every day. Oh, I need to get this cleaned. Stupid bitch ring cleaned. Yeah. <laughs> if people stopped me on the street and were like, oh my God, your ring is beautiful. I'd be like, oh, which one? The one on my forefinger or the stupid bitch ring? <laughs> exactly.